in Elmore, Alabama, brought back a piece of history, brought it back to life, proving just because it's old doesn't mean it isn't any good. WSFA 12 News anchor Judd Davis has the story out along County Road 12. Even on the rainy days, Joe and Dion Maherg are always busy at Hickory Meadows. Come here, midnight. We love to rescue restore and reuse. Maybe one of their biggest rescue projects involves a lady named Wendy. We bought this property a little over five years ago. And when we did, we happened to notice or we'd been looking uh, for property and we had seen Wendy standing uh, on the property. She was in bad shape. When we got her, she was bent up pretty bad. Meet Wendy. This windmill was made in 1926 in Chicago, Illinois. When the Mahergs moved in, Wendy was in pieces on the ground, but a childhood memory of family car trips was the inspiration to get her back on her feet. For years, that was just something I saw every time I went to my grandparents' house. It's just always been a memory. And thanks to some help from a guy who's done this before, She's working again. Starting in March of this year, we started taking her apart, fixing her, putting her back together. And on uh, November 12th, we stood her up and hooked, up, hooked her up to the pump. It's also a reminder that old can still be good. <laughs> we were standing out there the other day working on it. She looked up at it. She says, this reminds me of home. Wendy. Mainly. She's here to work and, and let people know that things still can be done the old way. This windmill will pull water from 500, 600 feet in the ground. Still working hard in Elmore County and spinning back some great memories at Long County Road 12. Emma Herg says all the maintenance it needs is an oil change once a year and it should last another 30 to 40 years.